what's going on guys uh, a breakthrough was made in regards to the energy efficiency so here's my special receiver circuit you know it's a wireless open system the leads just go right to the meter So anyway, you see how we have the meter connected to the receiver coil. There is nothing under the desk. We have a earth connection into the center of the power supply and the earth of the outlet, which is the metal. Now, we're in, we're in voltage mode. I'll turn the transmitter on while holding this little receiver light as you see we got power we'll keep it under one watt here's the energy efficiency breakthrough so our receiver coil is getting from this transmitter which is being supplied by the DC power supply we are receiving 37 volts at 75 milliamps now that should interest you we're at less than one watt transmitter is using less than one watt of power dead short on the receiver and we still have wireless power this resonant receiver does not affect the transmitter's output power in any way because it's a separate system. Now here's where it gets crazy. Watch when I take it to about 5 watts. And I gotta be careful because I'll blow my milliamps. It can only go to 200 milliamps. So our input voltage is 30 volts. Input current 91 milliamps 2.7 watts. That's our dead short circuit current from the receipt from the receiver coil. Here's our voltage. Now here's the part that'll blow your mind because the circuitry keeps getting more and more refined. I'll take it up right to under five watts. Okay, so. I can't do a current test now on that scale because I'll blow it. So here's a light bulb. I'll back up a bit. The radiant energy effects at five watts, less than five watts, is now phenomenal. It's almost like magic. Touch this to anything metal, it lights up, almost to the point where it's weird. So here's where it's phenomenal watch this and there should be no load placed when I connect this this should light up to full intensity I know one of the bulbs got screwed up maybe it has to be a little higher oh okay hello there it is I guess I'm not sure why that is, but it kicked on now. I think there's a bad connection in there. But anyway, this guy let up full intensity from a receiver. If you don't believe me, it's I'll move it. Fully movable. All that wireless power at 5 watts. It's the circuitry that's manifesting a lot of the power. So anyway, we got that. No effect. Less than 5 watts we're doing that. And we still got this. Blinding. blindingly bright
I can get this to light almost a mile away when this thing is on at less than 5 watts of power. I'm going to have to demonstrate that soon. And it lights with one wire connected to the earth ground. And then the, the wire passes, connects to here, one end connects to here, and then just one end of the primary coil. Which is very weird. It lights in a very unconventional way. So, there's the bulb. He's lit. We'll connect a different bulb. And we'll connect this one. And yes, this circuit can run incandescent. That's lit too. Still no change on the transmitter. It lit up that larger bulb, just a little bit more dim. No change. Lights up this one. This one you have to like turn up for a second and then turn down. It's got a bad connection. Okay, so that's back on. Um, it's that bottom solder connection that's giving me issues, but anyway. What else will I connect? Connect this one. This is one of my favorites. It tuned a bit. That is bright. Damn, that's bright. Tune it down. That one activated at 10 watts for some reason. This is a very high power bright bulb. Anyway, this receiver gets about twice the power the transmitter can put out. So, um, connect an incandescent now. Connect it to the transmitter, uh, connect it to the receiver. Can like that. Notice how there's very little change. And I, I can uh, just keep duplicating that circuit and do whatever I want. Look at that. There's no drain on the power supply at all when the receiver coil runs the load. No drain at all. Take this up to 15 and see what we can do. Right. 12.54. There's no change. How crazy is that? Look at that. Just my hand being near this wire causes the bulb to be bright or dim. Try and get this connected better and move away. Now here's another weird effect I observed. If I take this antenna, it's just a piece of copper, put this here, and I connect to it, watch this. bulb will get a little bit brighter and the power reduces it 
really interesting effects. So if I could tune the bulb. And I'm tuning the bulb just by doing this. So yeah, we can light incandescence now with little to no impact on the trans on the power consumed by the transmitter. It's very interesting. This is one of my favorite bulbs. The big white one, jumbo. Look at that. Watch the meter. I'm gonna move remove my hand because my hand's interfering. I don't think there's a change now. It's hard to do this because my hand interferes when I bring it near the coil, like you can see. And completely touching the transmitter will dim the light, will kill the light. So a uh, fan member discovered that a, f a fourth coil here wound in the opposite direction again and enhances the effects even greater in a receiver coil and your receiver coil should be one gauge less than what you construct your transmitter out of which increases the effect for some reason like look at that And I got something else that'll blow your mind. We will run a little motor at wirelessly at half a watt of power, which shouldn't even be possible. So here's our little motor. He's connected to the receiver some distance away. I'll get the meter out of the way because I work in a small space and the meter's just in the way. I'll slowly turn that up. And there we go. I want less than a half watt. Wireless power running a motor at less than half a watt of power undeniably proves the receiver is receiving twice the output than the transmitter can put out. Where does the power gain come from? It comes from the bucking magnetic resonant design. It comes from the fact we're earth grounded. And it comes from the fact we're using high Q negative resistance components. All play a culminating role to create receivers that can receive more power than the transmitter can output. And that's pretty decent torque. Like it's moving at half a watt. There it goes again. And I bet you if I even move this a bit, I can tune it more. Let's just see the range we can get. So, less than half a watt motor is spinning away happily. And we still have wireless power. This should be impossible to occur. Like, if this does not excite you, you don't know what you're looking at. He's spinning away happily, less than half a watt of power, and we still have radiant energy effects. Like, are you not amazed? And you can light up as many of these as you want just by separately earth grounding them. There is no degradation. The transmitter has an unlimited working capacity. So, that's what I wanted to show. Um, I wanted to thank all the people who support me through Patreon and funding and my research and my website. Uh, people wanted to know where I was for a while. Uh, work. Work's been hell lately. Uh, I can't even ex describe to you how bad work's been lately. Uh, we're supposed to have 16 to 24 people employed at all times. We're down to four. Two morning crew, two closing crew. I'm part of the closing crew and it's ridiculous there. Um, I'm actually trying to transfer departments, and they keep 
they just keep promoting me because they don't want to lose me. But yeah, life's been alright lately. Just been grinding hard. Uh, once again, thank you to all those who support me. And for those who are like, oh, you're hiding something? No, I don't think so. People have come here. They've seen it. My friends and electrical researchers, others have seen this, and they verified it. Signed out for David's. Um, this is open source research, too. Hence why this improvement was made to receive even more power. So, you see I shut this off. The effects will cease. Takes a few seconds to shut off because the circuitry is so efficient at resonating. Shuts off. No more effects. So it's undeniable the power supply runs the transmitter and then the receiver powers the load. And then you can receive twice the amount of power the transmitter kicks out. And again, I'll turn it back on. It comes on. So that's going. Probably even touch this to here and it will light very dimly. The radiant energy is just phenomenal. The effects at half a watt. So. Let that sink in. I can also take a coil identical to this, light this light to full intensity between a coil like that, this light, and the ground. So, that's how that works. And once again, thank you everyone, and stay tuned. I also ordered a lot more charge control circuitry to like pulse dump capacitors and whatnot with t automatic timing circuits. That'll be coming in in a few weeks. A lot of sh I ordered a lot of shit. And yeah, once again, thank you to all those who subscribe. It's getting interesting. Take care, everyone.